Hi everyone, a project I've wanted to tackle for a while has been our hallway. I was so tired of the grey walls and I really wanted to add some character. I've been so keen lately to add little vintage touches and character to our home, so I decided to add some panelling to the hallway and all the way up the stairs. The first thing I did was draw on the wall where I wanted the dado rail to go. We had an original dado rail going up the stairs on the other side, so I used the same measurements here. I used grab adhesive for the dado rail and tapped in some small nails whilst it dried, which I took out later. I used the grab adhesive to also fill in any gaps. I then painted all the top part of the wall white using a roller, it felt so good to finally get rid of the grey colour. Next I moved on to the panelling itself. I did spend some time planning and measuring out the wall and I drew the shape on the wall to show what I wanted. Actually cutting the trim, this was really easy as they were simple 45 degree cuts. I stuck them on using grab adhesive whilst making sure they were all level. I then caulked in the gaps before moving on to the stairs. Along the stair treads there's always been this cracking on the caulking and the paintwork so I decided to add a piece of trim at the base first. I then measured the wall, sketched a plan and drew out the shape of the panels on the wall where I wanted them. I sort of lived with this for a couple of days and just made sure that I was happy with all the spacing and once I was happy I drew them in sharpie pen on the wall. I did use a spirit level just to make sure that everything was straight. To explain what I did I measured out my panel on the wall here I made sure everything was evenly spaced and level. I could see that this was going to be a lot more tricky and that the angles were going to be different all the time. So I have taken this very simple approach to getting the angles right. So what I did was I took a piece of trim and drew the shape of the trim on the wall and I did that same thing for the top piece of trim. So I have now got a diamond shape in the corner. All I need to do is draw an intersecting line between the two angles, so the internal angle and the furthest exterior angle. This becomes the angle that I need to copy, so I'm just going over it in pink sharpie so that it's really clear. Next I took a piece of trim and I can see that I need to follow the pink line so I marked it at the top and the bottom of the angle. That is the angle that I need to cut with my mitre saw or hacksaw. With the second piece I marked it again using the pink line as a guide. So now I've cut that piece and to make it easier I just use duct tape and stick it to the wall whilst I work on the other angles to make sure that I get them right. So like before I drew the lines for the pieces of trim and drew a pink intersecting line 
which will be the angles I need to cut. Then I cut that piece and stuck it to the wall with duct tape to hold it whilst I mark off the next piece. Once I was happy with all the angles I'd cut, I stuck all the pieces to the wall with grab adhesive and then I corked all the edges to give it a nice finish. So before painting, this is how everything looked. And I just kept using the same method all the way up the stairs. I then painted all the top part of the wall white and I was really happy with how this looked when I was finished. And then I gave all the panelling two coats of farrow and ball corn forth white. I love the way this looks now. I love the colour and I love the way that it's brought some more character to our home. My next plan is to give the stairs a makeover. I really want to replace the carpet. I've never really liked the colour and what I'd really like is a stair runner. Hopefully that will be my next project. I hope you all are doing well. Give me a thumbs up if this project has helped you or given you some inspiration for your home and I will see you in my next video. Bye!